One of the most entertaining college football games you will ever see happened in South Bend, Indiana on Saturday night, and defense was the name of the game. Notre Dame and Ohio State, two high-powered offenses failing to score in the first quarter as the Irish miss a 47-yard field goal. Moving into the second quarter, the Buckeyes failing to score here on a fourth and one on the goal line as this touchdown from Emeka Ibuka was called back, something that happened a lot this game. Ohio State would pull ahead by a whopping 3-0 at the half after this 31-yard field goal capped off a 66-yard drive. The offense must have gathered themselves during halftime as Travion Henderson took the first play of the half to the house, a 61-yard run to give the Bucks a 10-0 lead. However, they aren't called the Fighting Irish for nothing as they immediately responded with a touchdown of their own as Jabron Payne fought for seven here and scored a touchdown. Now this is the part of the game that made Buckeye fans start to worry as Sam Hartman tossed the go-ahead touchdown to Rico Flores Jr making it 14-10 Notre Dame. Now for the dreaded play of the game, the Ibuka jet sweep on fourth and one with four minutes remaining. Did I miss it? Yes. Did I do it on purpose so you didn't have to watch it? We'll go with that. But now bouncing back in a huge way, the defense stopping the Irish with about a minute and a half remaining. Plenty of time for McCord and company to make something happen. That is exactly what QB1 did here, driving down the field with a perfect pass to Ibuka, placing the Bucks at the one yard line once again. Now three seconds left for the game, Chip Trainum dives in for the score with both knees up, giving Ohio State the 17-14 victory over the number nine Fighting Irish. What a game. For Lantern TV, I'm Megan Hustline.